What's going on everyone, it's John back again and welcome to another match preview on the Blue Boys Network. Before I talk about the match between Everton and Wolves tomorrow, I just want to tell everyone about the match day vlog that me and Michael put together on Thursday that actually went out last night. Listen, if you want to laugh over the weekend, go and watch this vlog. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed making it. Um, Michael has also done some little snippets throughout his day as well and it's so funny. The editing that Michael's done to put it together is absolutely fantastic. We've had so many good comments, people asking us to do another one. So, listen, if you haven't seen it yet, and you do, you, honest to God, you do want to laugh, search it on my Twitter. You can go on Michael's Twitter, it's on there, but also search the Blue Boys Network on YouTube, and honest to God, you, you will. It's so funny. Um, and as I say, there will be another one coming up, but... Just go and have a look at it. Honest to God, it's spot on. And the editing, as I say, that Michael's done is phenomenal. Anyway, let's get into the game for tomorrow. This is a game that I'm absolutely petrified over because this is going to be a harder game, in my opinion, than the Leicester one was and the Tottenham was and Southampton was. We've had a, a tough run of games lately. And to be honest with you, this Wolves one, it doesn't make the games any easier, you know. He's got a really, really good team there, Espirito Sanchez, I think his name is. Um, you know, he's got some great players. I was looking at their form over the last five games. They've won three and lost two. They did get beat last game out by Sheffield United. It was a tight game. Sheffield United just nicked it. Game before that, they got beat at home by Arsenal 2-0. So, listen, <laughs> they've had a good start since they've come back. The last five games, as I say, they've won three out of five. And this isn't going to be easier for Everton. Everton have to massively, massively improve their form for this game tomorrow. Because if they don't, it, it, it could be a proper, proper hiding. I'm getting the feeling with a lot of the Everton players now that they've got their flip-flops on, they just want the season to end. The heart's not in it. And, you know, it's standing out and it's so obvious with some players. Again, I'm going to mention Gomez. Calvert-Lewin hasn't come back really in great form since the footy started again. So... I expect there to be changes tomorrow from Carlo Ancelotti. He has said there's going to be a change of personnel due to the amount of games we've been playing. The team that I've picked that I'd like to see, that there is some changes in it as well. But I just want to talk about Wolves and where we can where we can get anything from this game. You know, if you look at Wolves' team from the last game, I've got it here. You know, we've got Patricio and Goal, who, in my opinion, is a decent keeper, you know. Listen, they, they sort of play 3-5, three, 3-4-3 three, three they play. And they, they've got the players to be able to play that formation. You know, their back three that they play, you can get at them, but you have to get through the midfield first. I mean, Den Donker was on the bench last game and he could easily come back straight into that team tomorrow because he's a good player. Everton have been linked with him in the past. You know, you've got Johnny who plays on the left. You've got Matinho in the middle. I think he's 33, 34 now, and he still pulls the strings in that midfield. So, you know, he's one we have to stay tight to because if he can get the service to the front three, you know, we're going to struggle because we're, defensively we are making silly, silly mistakes. Pickford again, you know, the other night he pulled off a couple of good saves, but, you know... He's susceptible to mistake. I thought Michael Keane and Yeri Mina are susceptible to mistakes as well. So we have to stay tight at the back against the Wall team, who are absolutely fantastic going forward. You know, you've got um, Neves in the middle. I think he may get linked with, and this is no disrespect to Wolves, I think he may get linked with bigger clubs in the summer. You know, they've got Triori on the plays 
sort of to the right of the front three. He's been linked with the other team over the park. Everton were linked with him in the past. He's strong, he's powerful, he's fast. Put some great balls into the middle, you know. They've got Raul Jimenez, I think he's scored 20 odd goals this season, so he's a great player, you know. And they've got Jota on the left of that three. So, listen, if Everton do want to get anything out this game, the performance for me has to improve as much as 100%, because if it doesn't, this could be a cricket score in favour of Wolves. I do expect Wolves to pick the same sort of team, if not the same eleven as what played last game, because as I say, they were unlucky against Sheffield United. So, listen, that team can go again. And the way Everton are playing, I'm sure the Wolves players and the Wolves management will really, really fancy their chances against Everton tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to give you my Everton team now, and then I'll talk about where Everton can hurt them and you know where we've got to be better all over the park. Did write it down because I've had three or four teams in my head. I can see Pickford starting in goal. Luca Dean, Yeri Mean, and Michael Keane and Coleman across the back. I can see Gordon getting another game. He really, really impressed up until he got substituted the other night. I think he, he got tired, to be fair. So I think that's why Ancelotti made the change. I'm going to put Bernard straight in on the right. I don't want to be anywhere near that team at all. I'm going to put Sigurdsson in the middle. I thought he gave us more, if not a lot more. He gave us more than what Gomez has been giving us lately because Gomez has been absolutely awful, awful. I did see something that Ancelotti said yesterday about Mason Holgate. It will be a late fitness test on him. If he is fit, I play Holgate in the middle with Sigurdsson. If Holgate doesn't make it, I'm going to give the young kid Benigami a go in the middle with Sigurdsson. It could be a dream. It could be a Benigami, you know. There will be changes. I'm going to put Richarlson up front. He would be my choice. Partner and Moyes Keane. I thought Moyes Keane done enough the other night when he come on to warrant a start tomorrow. Dominic Calvert-Lewin hasn't been great lately. So, listen, it's a tough game. Everton can win this game. But we have to utilise Bernard and Gordon and get the ball to the front too quick. You know, Richarlson's got pace. Moyes Keane is powerful, he's strong, he's got pace, he needs to go, Moyes Keane. But listen, that's the way we can hurt Wolves tomorrow, but we have to get him round the back. They do play three at the back, so we can get in behind them, but we have to stay tight to their midfielders, because if they start pulling the strings and getting the ball forward to Jimenez and Traore and, you know, um, Jota, then it, we're going to struggle. I think... In my opinion, I think we have, we can forget about Europe now. There's been too many games where we've drawn. There's been games where we should have won and we haven't. You know, overall the season, not just since the football started. So, listen, it's a tough, tough, tough game tomorrow. There will be a watch-along. I think we're going live about 20 to 12. I think it's a 12 o'clock kickoff. So, join us for that. I do want to mention the watch-alongs that we've done previously the views for each watch along that we've done have gone up and up and up and up. And the one that we got the other night, the amount of views we got for the Everton Southampton game, I think all in all there was six thousand views. Now that is that that is more than what subscribers the channel's got, you know. So that is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But what I was saying at the beginning of the video, go and search that vlog that me and Michael done on Thursday, which was out yesterday. Honest to God. It's absolutely hilarious and a lot of the editing well all the editing is down to michael he's done some great things with the channel lately the, you know the match the, the intros you know and as i say the editing for certain things he's smashing at the minute the channel's smashing it at the minute and to be honest it is all down to you folks so listen i'm going to leave it there i will see you tomorrow with michael about 20 to 12 and um, please join us again and let's get more than six thousand for this one hey eh, folks it will be easier it's a sunday bit of an early kickoff Hopefully not too many will wake up with a big head if they go out tonight. But as I say, join us tomorrow. It will be fun. We do try and interact with as many people as we can and we look forward to seeing you. Cheers for that, folks. See you soon.